Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now, today's video, I'm going to share with you all about the Realme 10 Pro. Now, I already covered the bigger brother, the Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G in another video, and you guys really seem to like that device a lot. However, I think you should not forget about the little brother, the Realme 10 Pro. This time around, we do not have a Realme 10, so this guy, the Realme 10 Pro, is actually the entry level to the Realme 10 series. Right, so in terms of pricing, the Realme 10 Pro is going for RM1299 here in Malaysia. It comes with 8GB of RAM and it carries 256GB of internal memory. So in terms of your internal storage, it's actually quite a lot. And if you find that that's not enough, you can always expand it with a micro SD card slot all the way up to one terabyte. Always good to see expandable memory. Right, so with that said, let's jump right in and find out what the Realme 10 Pro here is really all about. First things first, in terms of the design, the design here actually looks very, very nice. We have this kind of flat frame all around and it kind of puzzles me these days, like, you know, the more premium models always get a curved kind of body, a curved display, whereas the, you know, more entry-level phones always get the flat surface. Me personally, I like the flat surface actually more than a curved surface so definitely I would say that I prefer the design of the Realme 10 Pro over here. Other than that it comes with really nicely made materials you feel this sort of like stainless steel aluminum kind of feel all around the device and I really like that we have a very smooth matte-ish back panel here that is you know does not stick any of your fingerprints to it so it's definitely great there and if you shift the device from side to side you will notice a slight shift in the colors. Pretty, pretty cool there, although this is not something entirely new that we've never seen before. In terms of the camera cutout, we have very clean camera cutouts here. It's just basically the two lenses on the top left corner. And other than that, it's just a very clean design. Moving on to the frame, towards the right side, you will notice that we have that fingerprint scanner. You also have your volume rocker. If you move down, this is where you get your type C port. You have your stereo speakers and you still still have that headphone jack at the bottom guys. Again, the more affordable models always come with the headphone jack and glad to see that here on the Realme 10 Pro. Now moving on, let's move on to the star of the show and that's actually at the front, that is the display. Now we do get a 6.72 inch AMOLED display that refreshes at 120 hertz. So everything here is going to be buttery smooth, very, very fluid. Other than that, it has a very, very thin bezels on the sides and Realme is actually really proud of that. They say that the bezels on the sides here, guys, the ones on the sides are actually just one millimeter and it's supposed to be the thinnest in its category. So very impressive side bezels here. You do get a little bit of a forehead. Actually, it's very slim at the top there and a bit more of a chin. So just take a look at the proportions once again. I definitely would appreciate if everything is a bit more symmetrical. But again, for this price point, I think it's actually quite impressive. Right, so that's just the display. Again, very impressive stuff there. Let's talk a bit more about those cameras at the back. Now, in terms of the cameras, you only have a two camera setup here and that's being led by the 108 megapixel main sensor and you have a 2 megapixel portrait lens. Right, the 108 megapixel sensor here is actually the same unit as the Realme 10 Pro Plus. So just in terms of day-to-day -day shots, you are not missing a lot if you purchase this model over the Pro Plus. Now taking photos during the day is actually quite decent here. You do have a good amount of detail, good amount of colors, you know, everything is actually quite nice. It's not too saturated. And in terms of the color temperature, I found it to be actually quite accurate based on what I was seeing during the day. Uh, again, the performance is very similar to the one on the Realme 10 Pro Plus. So check out these pictures here and let me know what you think. Anyways, I've only been testing the Realme 10 Pro Plus here for slightly more than a week. So I will be taking more photos and sharing it on my Instagram. Now moving on, let's talk a little bit about what's powering this device. Well, we do have a Snapdragon 695 5G processor. Again, it is quite entry level, but you guys are actually quite familiar with this processor already. We have seen it on multiple phones these days and it does give entry level kind of experience just in terms of your gaming. You can't really play like super graphic intensive games, but if you're using your phone just for the daily kind of activities, you don't play a lot of games, you take this camera photos, you do a bit of browsing, you know, social media. The Snapdragon 695 here is actually a very power efficient processor. All right, so last but not least, what do you get in terms of the battery life for quite a slim device here? 
Well, we do get the standard 5000 mAh battery, it supports 33 watt fast charge, and Realme says it will do 0 to 50% in less than 30 minutes. So again, quite decent here on the Realme 10 Pro. Ultimately, at the end of the day, what do I think about this device? Well, I would say that if your budget is very strict and it's under 1300 ringgit, you want a decent amount of storage, you want a great looking display here and that very nice design, premium feeling design and you want an entry level device that will be able to support 5G when that hits Malaysia, well I think you should strongly consider the Realme 10 Pro but if you want a bit more power, you know, you want slightly better ultra wide cameras and all that, do check out the Realme 10 Pro Plus. With that said, that pretty much sums up my quick look at the Realme 10 Pro. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to drop a like sub to the channel and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye!